screw an intro. This is Jeep. When you say Jeep, one car comes to mind, the Wrangler. And buying one is less like buying a car and more like joining a cult. You have to wave at every other Wrangler you see. All soy munching owners need to paint their Jeeps pink. And you must apply for every Jeep group on the internet. Approval will be fast. We also have some rules about parking. Every tire must be curbed. You have to park on someone else's tire at least once. You're only allowed to park next to your own kind. And if you have actual friends, which is a hard thing to do as a Jeep owner, you must box in anyone who parks poorly and then post their reactions. But the Wrangler has its cons, like fuel efficiency, safety, and roof skating tendencies, which is why we make other cars as well. We have the Compass, if you want a Kia that's even worse off-road. We have the Grand Wagoneer, if the Tahoe makes too much sense for you. We have the Gladiator, if you love getting beached and hate how the competition is better in every way. And we also have the Grand Cherokee. You can get one with a V6 if you like fuel efficiency and rocker arm replacements. We have the Track Hawk if you want a Hellcat without the fun. We also have the Trail Hawk if you're dyslexic and you thought you got a great deal on a Track Hawk. We take pride in our badges, like Rubicon, which means having the ability to go off-road with confidence. But it's used by those who don't want to wash their cars and want to act like they went on roading. We have trail rated, which used to mean you can maneuver through rough terrain. But then we placed that badge on the Renegade and now it's basically meaningless. But even though Ford tried, no one has done a retro design like we have. Shut up. Jeep. You can say no, but if it wasn't for us, you'd be saying... Nine! Common sense of good judgment not allowed. Khaki shorts, baby sunglasses, and faded hats sold separately. And headlights aren't supposed to have eyelids. And buying one. Oh, I just realized I have my f Rubik's Cube in my hand. Oh, soy munching, no maybe. Oh, soy munching munchers. Oh, soy owning munchers. But it's used as an excuse for those who don't want to wash their cars, and which used to mean you can maneuver through rough terrain. Which used to mean you can maneuver through rough terrain. Uh, um, feed up, baby. Nine. 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 Nine.